Well, let, let's be absolutely clear. We're going to make sure uh, that we uh, have no children, no kids, no pupils uh, in our country who go hungry this winter, as a, certainly not as a, as a result of any government inattention. We are focusing on that, as we have done very, very hard over the last few months. And we've given you know, huge sums to local councils to help them out, but also specific sums uh, for helping uh, with uh, with meals during uh, what was a very disrupted period. We've now got kids back in school. That's the most important thing. And so we think that the best way of, of tackling uh, holiday hunger, and it is, a, it is an issue, you know, like people like Marcus Rashford who are working on it, I totally salute and understand where he's coming from. You know, this is something with, that we need to, to focus on, the issue of holiday hunger. But the way to deal with it, we think, is by increasing... Uh, the, the funds available for universal credit we put up by about a thousand a year, but also to put more into local councils. So, in addition to, to the, the, the funds we've already given, there's a 63 million specifically uh, to help uh, deal with uh, with holiday hunger and, and with with pressure on on families, but also supporting uh, organisations across the country that are dealing with the problem. So, we certainly recognise that there is an issue. Uh, we have been dealing with it continuously throughout the period of the, of the pandemic, and we're going to continue to deal with it. And just to repeat the point, we will make sure, uh, we will do everything in our power to make sure that no kid, no child goes hungry this winter during the holidays. That's obviously something that we're, we care about very much.